This little mistake could reduce the retention of your audience in your videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. And welcome to day six of our content creation challenge. Yes, you have made it this far. Congratulations. And we're about rounding up because remaining two more videos and we're done for the month of January. Yep, so stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna be unveiling the mistake you have been making in your videos that has been driving away your audience and reducing your retention. And at the same time, I'm also gonna be providing you with the solution to make your audience stick to your videos and watch it for a long period of time, thereby allowing you to push out your content because if your retention rate is low, then YouTube is just going to say, you know what? People are not really watching this video that much. I guess it's not that useful. I guess it's not interesting in the first few seconds. So clear it. Don't push it out. And you need YouTube to recommend your videos. You do not need people to share your video. You do not need external audience. What you need is YouTube recommendation. YouTube recommendation is very important. The next video I'm gonna be sharing on this content creation challenge, you do not want to miss it. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can know if your videos are gonna have a lot of views or not. So please do not miss it for anything. Because this year, 2025, we are upping our editing game and we are definitely making money through content creation. Okay, good. Now, let me show you guys what mistake you guys have been making in all your videos through one of my videos. So we're gonna watch this video again, then I'm gonna show you an after. So it's gonna be a before and after. Then you can tell me what you noticed and then we go straight into the solution. Let's go. This little mistake could reduce the retention of your audience in your videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This little mistake could reduce the retention of your audience in your videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Yep, it is transition and sound effects. Some of you neglect the power of transition effects, animation effects, sound effects in your videos, and this little mistake drives your audience away. Baby, do you know what it means to watch a video two seconds and you're already seeing something flashing on your screen and everything? It's fun, it's engaging. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add different types of transitions, animations, and sound effects. Without the sound, honestly, the transitions don't really make sense. So you need it. So let's just go straight into editing. In order for you to create a transition and add sound effects, the first thing you need to do is get a video or your YouTube video that you have trimmed down, you have cut out the dead air, the pauses, the arms, the butts. So this video has already been cut, as you can see. This let's little mistake could reduce the retention of your audience in your videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen. So as you can see, there has been some cuts done on this video, but now we're gonna be adding transitions and sound effects to make the videos more interesting and also keep our attention of the audience. Okay, now let's add our first transition. This little mistake. Could reduce the retention of your audience in your videos. Hey friend. So you see the first cut from here to here. We're gonna be adding a split in the middle of both. So there's gonna be somewhere here. Hit split. And this split right now is where we're gonna add our transition. And to add transition and not animation, transition, all you need to do is just tap on that line and different kinds of transitions will appear okay so this or what you call our transitions okay not animations transitions and if you have multiple splits on your videos all you need to do is that once you add your transition all you need to do is just tap on apply to all and so apply to all the split areas okay so let's pick one transition for this video. It could be literally any video or Videos. any transition hey. rather. So I think I love this transition. So I'm going to be making use of it. Now you see this blue line? Videos. Hey friend. This determines how slow the transition comes in and how fast it comes in. 
in your videos. Slow. Hey friends. Fast. Do you see that? So now all we have to do is just add our transitions to our videos, whatever parts that we want it to be. So make sure, go to the last statement or the last sentence that you have cut in the video and in add your all your Hey friends, splits. welcome back. Creation challenge. Yes, your creation challenge. Now, at the beginning of my videos, I love to add some animations to grab the attention of the audience. So let's add some animations by just simply selecting the video, going to animations, and then selecting an in. That means how I want the video to come in. So we could just do this, slide in, any animation that will grab the attention of your audience. So just le let's pick any one. So we're just going to use this, this one right now. It's going to go... This little mistake yeah. could re Now we're even going to add some zoom effects. For those of you who haven't watched my keyframe video, make sure you go watch the video. Go through my YouTube channel. Go through my YouTube channel. I have everything on here. So we're going to be adding some keyframe, adding some zoom effects and just this making little it cool, mistake. Okay? Could now the next thing for us to do is to add sound effects because this makes the video come to life. It makes the transition, the animations come to life. So let's add some sound effects. Go to audio, sound effects, and now you can see different types of sound. You can also save the sounds by clicking on this box thing and it's automatically save. So you say add favorite. So I don't need this right now. So yeah. So let's pick a sound for the beginning. I usually use this. This little mistake. This little Did you mistake. see that? So let's do a before and after. So this, this is little before. This little mistake. Now with the sound. This little mistake could reduce the retention of your... As simple as that. Do you see how much of a difference it made? How much of a difference it's made? So please... Do not play around with your animations and sound effects and your transitions. So let's move to the transition part. This, this is little animation, mistake so let's could watch reduce it. the retention of your audience in your videos. Okay. Now let's add another sound to this part of your video. Now, if you want it to look like you went from this chapter to another chapter, crop the video to exactly when you want to start talking. Just... Crop it. Your videos. Hey friends. So it goes. Videos. Hey friends. Do you see that? Hey friends. Yeah. So basically, it started another topic your entirely. Audience. So it's gonna be like. In your videos. You hey friends. This. Welcome back. Hey friends. Good. So now let's add a sound effect for this. Let's see. Just look at it. Just look at your video and ask yourself what sound effect will go well with this, and try different kinds of sound effect. Try everything out. So you find your perfect match. So let's do this. Hey friends, welcome your videos. Hey friends, welcome. Is that good? Your videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my videos. Hey friends, welcome. Hmm, it's okay. Let's try another one. Make sure the sound effect is underneath where the transition starts and ends. Hey friends, welcome back. To hey friends, welcome back to videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's okay. So I think I like this one. Videos. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Carrie. You can also reduce the volume so that the sound effects don't overshadow your videos or the words of your videos. You know, just reduce it a little bit, and then you can just duplicate this and long press it. And drag it to where you have your next transition. Instead of having to look for the same yes, sound effect again. Creation challenge. Yes, you have made a dis. Yes. So now we have and another transition here. Let's add another sound effect. In this video, I'm going to... In this video, I'm going to be... So stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to be... Do you see that? That 
is the power of transition effects, sound effects, and animations. If you watch some of my videos on my YouTube channel, you will see I have placed emphasis on all of this multiple times. So like I said, go through my channel, watch all my videos back to back. You're going to learn all these things over and over again. If you didn't learn it from this one, you're going to learn it from another one and another one and another one. Trust me, you're going to learn something in this channel, you know? So now, that's everything for transition and sound effect. Hope you guys found this video very helpful. Leave a comment down below on what you learned in this video and what you want me to teach you next. And remember, do not miss day seven because, well, <laughs> you do not want to miss it. Do not miss day seven for anything. I'm going to be showing you guys how people post videos on YouTube and they go viral. Yeah. I'm already giving you guys a sneak peek. So you do not want to miss it. If you miss it, then you're probably not ready for success in content creation throughout 2025. And you're not ready to make big bucks. Okay? So don't miss it for anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!